an alternate way to view documents in SharePoint. I'm Paul Kuizers and help businesses with SharePoint, Microsoft Teams and Copilot for a living. That's why you can be sure that after watching this video, you'll know how to view documents in another way. So let's jump into it. I got a question uh, regarding this from a client. That's why I want to make this video. We all know uh, that clients work with folders and especially since Teams, uh, the metadata is less uh, used, but sometimes this makes it not uh, very nice to view. So what most people do is when they are in SharePoint, like here, they see the uh, folders and they go in there and say, hey, there's another level. So we are about three levels deep, which is still okay. So what could you do to uh, show all the files? Well, what you could do is the following. You can uh, go to a list, create a new view. When it's there, you can say, okay, uh, view, without folders then uh, show as a list that's fine everything is fine make sure it's public create the view now it's still the same because we just copied the, this view and now we are going into edit current view now as we edit this current view we can select here at the bottom show all items without folders so i'm going to do that and i'm going to click ok Whoa, this is great. So now I have all my folders, but as you may see, there are a few um, documents that have the same name. If I select name, you see that there's no way I can view which folder they are, where they are coming from. So what you can do is the following. You can add a column to this, add a text column, and I'm going to say uh, a path and it's a single text that's all fine so now i've added this uh, path to the sharepoint library sorry for the non-capital p if you like this video so far don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want to work with me then there's a link below in the comment section where you can directly book a call with me Thanks. What we are going to do next is the following. We are going to go to column settings and we are going to select format column. Now we are going to the advanced mode and here we have the possibility to add JSON. So for the use of this demo, I will copy it from another library. So what I did in the meanwhile is I copied uh, the uh, text. I'm going to paste it here. So what have we done? We added a div element to it and a txt content. What does this do? It creates a substring. It gets the file ref, which is the total string of the path. There it gets the last index of the forward slash and it gets the count of the document. So as you can see, the library URL is documents and plus nine will uh, give me only the folder path. So let's uh, preview this. All right, this side seems to be better. And now we save this to our uh, environment. So now we added an extra tab to it and we can filter now on this. We can even uh, say, okay, I want to A to Z. Uh, so we know exactly, okay. Uh, but for the case we had like the test items, we see that there's one test document at ATB. There's one on level two, one at level three, a lot of levels, but you get the point. It's easy to view. The folders are not visible, but you still see in which folder it is uh, loaded. So this is a good workaround around this item. So if you want to know more about SharePoint, then be sure then to watch this video because it really has some awesome things. Thanks for watching.